Caddis Maximus here. This time I'm reviewing the Maha MHC Triple Seven Plus Two Universal Battery Charger. Uh, I've had this thing for a long time. I like to, you know, fiddle around with various electronics. Um, and so when you get a take apart things, oftentimes you can get these little lithium ion battery packs, which are great for like powering like little custom flashlights or any kind of weird projects you may make with them. But the deal is, is trying to charge them, either wiring them up to like one of those uh, single cell chargers that charges 18650s or some other charger. And uh, I actually found this thing at a garage sale and was pretty surprised. So they do make uh, not just Maha, but after researching this, there's a few different brands of these universal chargers. But what makes it a universal charger is the fact that it has a, you know, this one's pretty neat because it has a digital display and it's processor controlled. Uh, it has a little polarity switch, so if you hook up the battery backwards and it has a little bit of voltage, it'll tell you error. And, and then you just flip the switch and then it will start charging. All you have to do is just tell it and it knows there's lithium ion and there's a little switch on the side for nickel and it has a little temperature sensor there's a magnet here and then you just set the temperature sensor wherever you could next to the battery and so it's real handy for charging oddball batteries like this um, or you know I used to collect you know buy old and use cordless power tools I don't do that anymore because it's pointless but this was a great charger to try to recharge those battery packs now this is not a balanced charger what would be known in charging any chemistry a balanced charger means that when you have a battery pack like many power tool batteries or maybe batteries like this this is a 10.8 volt pack and it's actually three it's like having three of these packs just sandwiched together so this is a series charger and it doesn't take into account that maybe one of these cells in here is a little bit weak and so, you know, it doesn't work great on higher voltage battery packs. It can run off of 24 volts or 12 volts. It just reduces the voltage of the pack that it can charge. Uh, no, you can't charge a 24 volt pack because you have to put batteries are rated to what you use them at. But to charge them, you have to put in additional voltage. So say a 14.4 volt pack would take 18 volts to charge it. And so this max, and this, that's the max capacity that this will do. Uh, even though you have 24 volts in because like trying to recharge an 18 volt battery will require 22.5 volts and you don't have that much available and I think that's what this display is when it, when you plug it in it's just letting you know the maximum voltage that it can uh, hit I think hit with the battery it's kind of am and un or it's kind of ambiguous it's a little bit weird it has a discharge mode and if you press and hold it it'll like charge and then discharge the battery to give you a full capacity reading the whole point of these is you can get like, you know, old radios. I don't want to say like old camcorder batteries, but you know, all these proprietary batteries, ca uh, cameras are notorious. And so this is kind of a charger. If you're ever into, you know, getting old stuff like cameras from garage sales or any other of these kind of electronic devices, this would be the kind of charger you'd use to attempt to recharge whatever proprietary battery. It has these prongs that will, you can raise and lower and it has two prongs in the front, a couple on the top. They are gold plated, so that does help. Uh, there's a magnet and then there's a temperature sensor that you can stick to the battery and a couple little, you know, plastic things to keep the battery from sliding around. Back to the balance charging. Since it just series charges the battery, it doesn't take into account, so it doesn't really properly charge up the battery because it will charge up and maybe it won't reach the full voltage because there's a weak cell. But then when that happens, it tries to overcharge the cell. You get some heat. And then it will, you know, cancel the charging based on uh, temperature, or it will just stop charging when it reaches a sense when it's if it's sensitive enough to detect that like one cell is, you know, reached its top charge early, that it just overall undercharges the battery, and that's the biggest issue. Many power tool batteries have multiple contacts because they do balance charge, and you could use this charger to do it, but you'd have to, you know you know, get in there and individually work, figure out all the different wires to individually charge each cell independently. And so I tend to only use this with single cells, you know, unless it's like an old radio or something. And so I just wanted to put a review of this. There's a, you know, quite a re few reviews of Maha chargers, but not a lot of people have talked about this one. And it's been out for, I think the Series 2 has been out for about 10 years and the Series 1 came out like 15 years ago and they're actually not bad little chargers when you want to try to charge just any old weird random battery, even out of stuff that you take apart. And that's kind of the whole point of this review. 
and they do a little demonstration. Well, before that, what you know, these kind of batteries are a little bit rare. This is like for a remote control car, so it has you know the extra balance wires and. A balanced charger might look something like this, a more universal type where it has all these extra connections to get to break apart all the cells in the battery so it can charge each cell independently. And I'll do a review of that charger in a little bit here. But to operate this thing, it's actually pretty simple. You just take a couple of leads here. They're not insulated, but I'm working with low voltage. I am on a fire safe surface. It detects the voltage, so it kind of just detects. If you have a really low battery, then what it will do is charge it for like a minute and then try to read the voltage so it can determine what it needs to run at. But it's really pretty easy and simple, and I like it. Because it's really easy for you to figure out that you're working with a lithium-ion cell versus a nickel cell. Because lithium-ion cells are always small, and usually blue like this, or clearly labeled. <clears throat> and we might just connect a couple leads to it whoop some super fine wire on that come on. so it gives us an error telling us that there's voltage but it knows it's reverse polarity and you just flip the switch and then it just goes it calls it a quick charge but it's 400 milliamps it's like <laughs> crazy it would take a huge amount of time I mean, literally, this little battery, it might take this charger an hour to charge this little battery. So you do something like this. You just set the little temperature sensor on top of it just so you don't have a fire. And if we zoom in just a little bit, this is what I also kind of liked about this guy here. It's easier than picking up and filling with the connections. It is you know, there's its quick charge, and what it's doing is it's counting off how much charge it's delivering as well as counting off how much time it's taking to charge it. And then this voltage is how much uh, juice it's actually hitting the battery with. So it detected it as, you know, we're in lithium ion, so it knew it was a single cell and it's hitting it with four volts. So that was kind of the point of this review is reviewing both this Maha because I've had it for a while and it's always worked pretty good for me. It always seems like first generation battery chargers, there's inevitably some kind of, you know, somebody will have one that catches fire. Usually it's when you have a pack that's already charged and you hit it again and then the charger doesn't see the proper charge curve because it's already filled up and overcharges it. So it's always important and it's really nice that this one does have an independent temperature sensor just to for extra safety when you're using all these different random battery packs. It's a big deal. And they're pretty cheap on eBay so if you're into any of that kind of stuff this is just kind of a, a review where this one has worked fine for me and a little demonstration on how easy it is to really use to charge random battery packs. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the review here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Caddis Maximus channel, please do subscribe to the Caddis Maximus channel. And I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and who is uh, helping support the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.